Radio presenter uh, Livy Purvis has spoken about how the pressure to appear youthful and attractive seems to only apply to women. She said equality will come when women are allowed to be grey, stout and in proper cardigans. <laughs> What's a proper cardigan? Oh, I've got loads of them What's hanging the up in my wardrobe. Cardigan? It's a nice big knitted one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's got a point, yes. Um, it's funny, actually, because uh, I used to present The Breakfast Show on LBC and I loved doing radio because you could just turn up looking an absolute... I used to do it in my pyjamas. Um, but it was the days before they suddenly started putting cameras in the corner of the studio. Mm. So suddenly the whole face for radio became... Oh, no, not anymore, because mm. now you've got to look good. And that's kind of what she's saying with social well, women, media then. and... Yeah, mm. the social media and websites and everything. Yeah. You know, the women are, are now getting kind of younger and younger. Um, and, yeah I, 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 yeah, I agree with her, I think, because I think there is a different rule for women in all areas of life, actually, than, than there are for men. Uh, you see so many men on television... <coughs> excuse me, and in acting roles who are playing sort of Hollywood heroes uh, at the age of 52, a woman of 52 will only ever play a mother... Yeah, the grandmother. Or, or even yeah. a grandmother, yeah. yeah. You have this ridiculous situation, but um, I don't know. I mean, what can you do about it? I, in a way... So, say I'm watching something like Love Island. I watch Love Island because I do want to see young, beautiful people. I don't want to see us on Love Island. But, be funny, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 my hey. God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. I tell you what, <laughs> if, if I had that body, body, I'd watch that. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> I wish, I wish. Um, That's... Oh. I, I tune into Love Island to see young, beautiful people, but, you know, in general, on radio or television, if I'm listening to somebody's opinion, I don't give a damn what they look like. No, mm. me too. Carol, what do you think? Um, I, I do think it's a, a, a problem and it is annoying. Um, but, you know, I don't know. It, it's, certain, it's certain shows, isn't it? There are certain shows where, you know, you do have scruffy old women in cardigans. <laughs> and I'm not talking about not this running. one. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I in shop for that? Oh, I'd have a cardigan. <laughs> 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 you know, because... it's newsreaders it's so it's so apparent with newsreaders and it's been going on for years and you know you, you've always got uh, selena scott and and anna, anna what's her name uh, who all got retired early while the men who are reading the news just carried on and on and on and yeah. it happens in america as well it's like you have to look a certain way to read out loud god knows why and it makes any difference who reads the blooming news yeah. but you know, I think it's annoying and it is ageist. It's definitely ageist yeah. and it's sexist as well. But, you know, if you just... If, if women didn't pander to that kind of thing where, oh, I've got to look young to be on TV, then maybe they would have to start employing more people like us. Yeah. I'm just sure well, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, Listen, I, I totally agree with Carol, cos I, I look at it as, you know, there's this whole grow old gracefully. And I'm growing old very gracefully. I'm like that fine wine that just gets better with time. And that's what it is. And it's You're there. definitely not maturing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been out with you. <laughs> but, you know, the, the whole thing about being invisible and stuff... I mean, we were out social, having a yeah. socially distanced um, drink the other night and I, we actually put a timer on it because we were sat there waiting to be served and everybody was just walking past us. And, and, I, serve, I and serving, serving the beautiful the people. The beautiful younger... Um, clientele, and I actually put the timer on and after 11 minutes, like, OK, hello, can I have some service, please? Can somebody serve me? Cos, you know, I'm running out of time here, just sitting here waiting. Do you think sometimes we're our own worst enemy, though, that we maybe behave invisibly? Cos I, I, I get totally what you're saying and I'm like, but because I'm married to somebody who's quite loud, mm. you know, the minute he sits down, he'll go, hello, hello, like that. Whereas I do think women, we tend to... We, not this no, woman. Not, that woman. Not this woman. It was hello. <laughs> she hello. was literally <laughs> screaming the place down, well, weren't you? Was so dry. I need a, I and, and, I, and that's the thing. I don't think it is just like in television or you know the yeah, industry. Life. I think when a woman hits a certain age, I do think they become a bit invisible. Yeah. You know, and it's uh, I've really. Oh, sister. <laughs> you can become invisible if you allow yourself I'll to be you invisible. To, I am I'll not invisible. Answer, no. I will not you allow be myself to become we'll invisible. Walk around without a mask. You won't be invisible then. Mm. Well, you get fined no, you'd just be out of pocket. As of Thursday. Anyway, you definitely shouldn't do that. In fact, who said that? It's invisible to me. <laughs> <laughs>